welcome back to another preschool session. Today's session is going to be based all around the different types of weather. I hope you've been enjoying the beautiful sunshine with your family at home. Today we're going to do lots of different types of weather like rain, snow and sun so we can have fun moving around and practicing our gymnastic skills. For this session you will need some tissues which we are going to use to make snowflakes. You will also need some accessories to help to decorate your parent up as a snowman. I've got a hat and a scarf, so have a look around the house and see what items you can find. First, let's have a walk. We're going to move round at the different types of weather. So, when I shout sun, I want you to jump into a beautiful big star and wave those sunny hands around. We're going to see if we can move round like the sunshine. Have a go with me. Ready? Sunshine! And we're going to move around like a big shining sunshine. Then we might shout out wind. And you need to blow like the wind. Maybe we can move round like the wind. Maybe it's going to get faster. And stop. Or I might ask for rain. And when it rains, we get lovely muddy puddles. So when I say rain, we're going to jump up and down like we're jumping in muddy puddles. Are you ready? Let's get nice and warm. I can hear the wind. That's it. Can you move around like the wind? We're going to use the tissues as snowflakes and I would like the parent to help throw the snowflake and your little gymnast has to try and catch the snowflakes. Let's have a go. Maybe we can try it in different gymnastic shapes. Can you sit on a pike? Can we throw the snowflake and let the snowflake land on your toes? This time, can you sit in a straddle shape with your beautiful straight legs? And let's see if we can throw our snowflakes and catch them back on our hands. Now we're going to stamp in the snow. So lay your snowflakes out on the floor and see if you can stamp them from snowflake This time, let's go jumping in the snow. Oh, it's getting a little bit cold. Can you get your parent to make an igloo shape? And you're going to go in and hide in the igloo. I'm going to ask Mikey the monkey to help me with this one. So I'm going to make an igloo. And Mikey the monkey is going to crawl through my legs to sit in the igloo. Maybe this time I can try and make my igloo in this shape. And Mikey can try and crawl through the igloo to come and play out in the snow. Have fun together and see the different shapes you can make to make an igloo with your child. I don't know about you, but I love nothing more than making a snowman when it snows. So today, your adult is going to get dressed up as a snowman. We're going to work on your agility and do some running. I've put my hat and scarf over there on the floor. My job, I'm going to be the gymnast, and Geoffrey the giraffe is going to be my parent. 
I'm going to run as fast as I can, collect an item, and then put it on Jeffrey the Drag until he is all dressed up as a snowman. You can use as many items as you like and have fun with this. We'd love to see a picture of your parent dressed as a snowman, so why not take a picture when you're finished and send it in to us at Corby Gymnastics Academy on Facebook. Are you ready? Set! Let's go! I'm going to use a hula hoop to pretend to be the sunshine. If you don't have a hula hoop at home, don't worry. You could use any object you like, like a pillow, or maybe you could draw a sunshine on a piece of paper. We're going to get your gymnast to crouch down small, and we're going to practice rising up really tall, like the sunshine rising up into the sky. You're going to hold the sunshine, and we're going to go one, two, three, rise up into the sky. Can you stretch up on your tiptoes? Let's see if we can walk round holding the sun up high on our toes. And then the sun's going to set again, so we're going to go down as small as we can. Ready? Let's see the sun rise up tall. Can you stretch up onto your toes and walk round on your tiptoes? And then we're going to have the sun set, so let's crouch down as small as we can. Well done, everyone. We're going to keep our hoop, and this time we're going to practice jumping in and out of our muddy puddles together. So, let's put our hands on our hips and see if we can do a big jump and land in the hoop. Jump! Splash! Really good. Let's do it again. Are you ready? One, two, three, jump! Splash! Really good. Now shall we see if we can do it with a land shake? This time you're going to jump into the hoop from two feet and land on two feet. And we're going to land with our arms out in front of us and freeze like a statue. Are you ready? Hands on your hips. One, two, three, jump! And hold. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, jump! And hold. This time, let's see how fast we can jump in and out of our puddle. Three, two, one, go! In, out. In, out. In, out. In, out. And stop. next game we're going to play the washing line game. For this game the gymnast will move around like an item of clothing. If it's windy I will say you need to move in the wind and the gymnast needs to find different ways to move around in their shape. When the sun comes out you're going to dry in the sun so you will freeze and hold the shape. A little bit like you're sunbathing. So for example if I asked you to squeeze down like a small pair of shorts we could go to a tuck shape. When the wind comes, we need to move around in the wind. So we could move by doing a bunny hop or by rolling in a tuck. You can choose to move around however you like. If I shout the sun is coming out, you need to freeze in that shape. Maybe you can sunbathe on your back in a tuck shape. Or maybe you'll sit and hold your tuck. Then, when I shout out you need to go to the washing line, you're going to need your parents' help. 
your parent will find an item to hold as a pretend washing line, such as a rope. As I don't have a parent here to help me, I've asked Jeffrey the Draft to be my partner. If I shouted out, go and hang on the washing line, I'm going to go over to the washing line, make my tuck and hold on. Let's have a go together. We're going to start off as a pair of shorts, so you will make a tuck shape. Now it's getting windy, so find a way to move around in your tuck. And the sun's coming out. It's time to sit still and dry. And it's getting windy again. And hang on. Don't forget to make your tuck shape. This time we're going to dry our pair of trousers. So we need to be a pipe shape. First, you need to find a way to move around in your pipe. I'm going to do some walking. It's windy, so let's move around. The wind's blowing faster. And the sun's coming out. Let's all freeze. It's getting windy again. We've got to move around. We're going to move in a straddle shape. Are you ready? Let's move like a straddle. It's getting windy. And freeze in the sun. And go to the washroom. Great job today, everyone. Now it's time to sing some songs. So you need to sit down with your gymnast and have them sit in a beautiful pipe shape. Jeffrey the Giraffe and Mikey the Monkey are going to help me with song time today. For our first song, we're going to sing Incy Wincy Spider. So get those hands ready and go. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Well done everyone. Now it's time for the goodbye song. Are you ready? Beautiful legs and pointy toes. And hands on hips, hands on knees. Put them behind you if you please. Touch your shoulders, touch your nose, touch your knees and then your toes. Put your hands in front of you. Now let's clap them. One, two. Put your hands way up high and let those fingers wave bye, -bye. 